What's going on my 3D printing fam? Hope you're doing well. I wanted to get on here and make a video because to my surprise I had an email last night from Chidi Tech telling me that they've updated the firmware on the Plus 4 model and resolved a whole bunch of issues. So now our latest firmware is going to be sitting at version 1.4.3 what really just exudes my happiness about this update is on my phone here sorry if it's flickering I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna go to our cutie link And I've always been able to have my uh, Q1 Pro come up on Cutie Link. However, my Plus 4 has never worked until today. Now I can finally see my prints printing and I can see what's going on see how they're working adjust G code you know do all the good things that I've wanted to be able to do and I could not use this until this update it would not connect to either server be it Amazon web services um, I can't remember the other one that they used but I am absolutely thrilled so with the new software um, now cutie link is working with the uh, with the printer which is great love it also um, the interface touch panel got more responsive I guess is the word you would use um, I've noticed that it's the controls and maybe the algorithm or whatever runs that um, touch panel software has gotten just a whole lot better so uh, super excited about that also a little more that was done with the um, version 1.4.3 update was like I said some um, UI display updates and stuff um, to make it smoother and more uh, reactive um, they added some a switch server prompt when you want to switch your server the device binding and server verification had been added updated the configuration file for a better overall experience on the printer and they optimized the execution logic of the chamber heating to even further better the issue with the chamber heating issue that was there and this is my second print on there um, I actually got this email at like 3 a.m. last night and I got up and updated it and did a, um, a test and print and the heater issue seems to be resolved. So kudos to them, apparently smarter than me because I can't figure out how they did that. But nonetheless, it is fixed in this version. Also, if you are thinking of getting this uh, Plus 4 printer, it's a rock star. Um, don't let the firmware or the few little bugs deter you from buying this. It is by far one of the most capable printers on the market today. And it, it just looks good. I mean, it looks like you're walking into a professional setting when you come look at that. Uh, so yeah, there's that. So if you're going to buy this, make sure the first thing that you do is go ahead and update to the version um, 1.4.3. That will pretty much remedy any of the, if you will, bugs or quirks that were out uh, from release. Yes, it should have been done, but anytime there's technology being released, I, I have a understanding that there's things that can be overlooked 
Um, the heaving bed issue, that clearly just wasn't really uh, thought of. And I'll link that video up here in the top. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch that video and you can figure out uh, the heating heat build build plate issue yeah we're there therefore figure out the build plate issue and uh, figure out the bed leveling which I must say and I don't know who actually told me um, about the, the item but on your thumb drive they have these blocks right here that you can print out and they slide right over that and level the build plate. So you ain't got to use uh, your Bamboo Labs uh, kit boxes anymore. So just figured I'd um, mention that and let you know so far everything is running great i'm very satisfied with the firmware update uh, so it's pretty cool my next little project on this is sorry say hello pup okay pup Sorry, a brief intermission there. Uh, I'm going to do one of these birdhouses on this printer. That's not a, a print defect, that's actually uh, plastic glue that uh, I cut the tip wrong and it shot out everywhere. Uh, so, yeah. But mounts on the back right there to whatever surface you want and little birds can come in there and build it. And you can also build it with this roof as one solid piece if your build plate allows and uh, or the shingles if you will, then the A-frames and then the rest. So that's going to be what I'm going, going to do on there next. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. I think that really stresses the point that I was trying to make. Uh, really glad they updated that firmware. Be sure to update that firmware if you uh, have this printer or considering buying this printer. This is probably now probably about 30 hours on this printer, all in all. And uh, it's, I mean, it's like just kind of like Q1. It just runs. Yeah, it had a little, little couple little glitches, um, but it's by far the most capable printer. First quarter 2025, look forward to the AMS on this bad boy. I wish I had it to test out. Um, Cause I'd sure like to give the uh, Bamboo Lab a run for its money. Uh, Cause you know what? I believe in innovation um, and such brings competition and competition makes it better for us because this is a far superior machine than anything bamboo puts out but you know you when you buy something you buy a name and you buy ease of use and right now bamboo has that but with this latest update they've really knocked it out of the park and making it um just a great overall user experience uh 2d studio is, or gd studio or however they say their name um Phenomenal, phenomenal job with the studio, and I just, uh, it's been a, just a great pleasure to use, and I'm really happy that now they incorporated my Q1 into this studio, uh, because it just makes the whole experience overall better. Um, anyways, we'll have some more videos coming up, because I've got to rearrange my entire bench here. Uh, all this stuff has to be rearranged, because um, I've got that right there and I gotta put up and do some other stuff um, it's my wife's birthday coming up this weekend so I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to make any videos so I did want to put this out there um, and really really uh, just thank you for all your support thanks for liking sharing and subscribing and we will see you on the next one with hopefully a couple new builds
Thanks, guys.